Susan Kennedy. Welcome to Neighborhood Niches and welcome to Wheaton. This city is just miles from the nation's capital. It's centered right on three major thoroughfares and also along the Metro's red line. Wheaton is in the midst of a major revitalization that is certain to make it an ideal location for businesses, residents, and visitors. The town of Wheaton got its name from General Frank Wheaton, who served in the Army before, during, and after the Civil War. Wheaton developed as a small business community near the junction of three major roads, Brookville Pike, now known as Georgia Avenue, Old Bladensburg Road, which today is University Boulevard, and Veers Mill Road. Today, Wheaton features a number of well-known attractions, and probably one of the most famous is Chuck Levin's House of Music. Some of the music industry's biggest names are regular customers of this iconic store. We'll pay a visit to this unique Wheaton niche a little later, but first, let's learn about the Wheaton community. There are close to 50,000 people who live in Wheaton, making it the seventh largest city in Montgomery County. The median age of a Wheaton resident is 35. The average income for a Wheaton resident is $81,368. Purchasing a home will average you around $341,000, and 45% of the population in Wheaton was not born in the United States. Wheaton is conveniently located along the Metro's red line. The escalator in the station is the longest in the Western Hemisphere and the third longest in the world. It's 230 feet in length and takes close to three minutes to ride from one end to the other. Much of Wheaton was developed in the 1950s. In the 1960s, Wheaton Plaza, now known as Westfield Wheaton, was the largest mall of its kind in the Maryland suburbs of Washington, D.C. Today, that shopping center is still a popular destination for residents and visitors. Adjacent to the mall is the widely known Wheaton Triangle. A major transformation is in store for this core niche. Starting later in 2016, work will begin on a new town center with an amphitheater, county office building, and mixed income housing. Luisa Montero Diaz is the director of the Mid-County Services Center. It's her job to make sure everyone is in the loop on this ambitious revitalization. In doing so, I have a lot of contact with community members. I actually staff two advisory boards that are made up of residents, but one of Mid-County and the other of the Wheaton Urban District. And, and those are the conduit for a lot of the issues that might be emerging in the community that perhaps the county needs to pay attention to. What we've said all along is, at every stage of this process, we want to maintain Wheaton's character. What we're doing is just enhancing the experience. And um, so I'm very excited about everything that's happening, about the revitalization that's going to occur there in Lot 13 between, you know, Reedy Drive as well as George Avenue and Vera Smill. Um, also, of course, the Library Recreation Center, the high school is ready. I mean, there's so many great things happening. The Wheaton Triangle draws customers and workers from throughout the county and serves locals with a core of small stores, businesses, and restaurants. The Wheaton Triangle is really sort of like the heart of Wheaton. I think it's so representative of all the extraordinary small businesses, very unique opportunities and retail opportunities. Um, and some, you know, particular businesses have been there for such a long time. They're part of the fabric of what makes Wheaton wonderful. Originally known as Marchon's, this deli has been carefully preserved since it opened in 1955. Been up almost 61 years in August. Filippo Leo took over the business in 2012 after Frank Marchon died. He and Marchon were partners for 27 years. This Wheaton institution is famous for its cold cut subs. And when you step inside, you are tempted by the smells of salami, tomatoes, and garlic. We've been uh, very successful serving the community of Wheaton, and, uh, and we're still over here. i got a wonderful, wonderful people. They've been support us through the years. And uh, our customers are pretty loyal, and I'm pretty sure through construction, they will still support us. Our next niche in the neighborhood of Wheaton has been described as one of the jewels in the crown of Montgomery County. Brookside is an award-winning 50-acre public garden situated within Wheaton Regional Park. 
The gardens include a wide variety of features, including an azalea garden, nature center, and butterfly display. Close to 500,000 people visit Brookside on an annual basis. It's a quiet place. It's a place where people can sit and just enjoy the view. They can come and learn what they want to learn about the plants. We have a lot of various plants here, but there's also a lot of annuals and perennials and trees and shrubs and grasses and all kinds of things that might interest people who are interested in doing this in their own yard at home. And the biggest thing that I think is, is most important about Brookside Gardens, other than just the beauty of the place, is that it's free. Between just the visual experience, the being outdoors, the exercise, people come here to walk a lot. It's amazing. We thought it was all horticulture. It's not that. Of course the horticulture is important and the, and the, the beauty, but we also have the live butterfly show that runs in the summertime, which is exciting because there's movement. And then in the wintertime, around December, we have our holiday light show called the Garden of Lights, which turns out to become a huge community event. Well, pretty much I just like this little downtown waiting because it's like a busy place where it's like multi, multicultural, you know, a lot of, you know, activities is taking place down here in Waiting. Well, it's a very nice place, friendly. They have always beautiful events here, so can't complain. It's very, how you say, community, a good community. My favorite place is the metro station. <laughs> because Why? It's easy, it's easy to, to go to everywhere. Right in the heart of downtown Wheaton on Veers Mill Road is our next niche. Chuck Levin's House of Music is a legend in the music industry. Selling more instruments on an annual basis than any other store of its kind in the United States. We're a stop. People from all over the world and all over the country, they want to, if they're a musician, they want to come to Chuck's. Chuck Levins came to Wheaton in 1968 after a fire destroyed their store on 8th Street in the district. That's kind of what was left from the, from the fire on 8th Street. This local institution was started by Abby's parents, Chuck and Marge Levin. Thank you. And today she and her brother Alan and nephew Adam run the business. Why here in the beginning was, a, was, was, a, was born out of opportunity. But I think that what kept us here is that Wheaton is a, is a melting pot and the community has been very supportive of the, the business since the beginning. It's a very different, uh, lots of different cultures, lots of different um, styles of music. It doesn't seem that, we don't think of Wheaton as being a very central location, but it kind of is. We're kind of in the middle of a lot of different um, cultural and, and, and business uh, areas of the, of the, of the region. There have been a lot of big names that have walked through the doors of Chuck's. We treat all of our customers like superstars. I think what uh, the musicians that are better known like about coming here is they can come here and just be a musician. Stevie Wonder will sit in the back in the keyboard room and play and nobody bothers him. And customers can come in and just try out different equipment. They might get a couple of looks, but, but nobody bothers them. They're a musician when they walk in the door, just like all of our, our customers. There are many who see Wheaton as one of Montgomery County's best kept secrets because of its ethnic mix, mom and pop shops, and small town feel. And because of efforts to bring about a renaissance of Wheaton, that secret is starting to get out. It's the best of both worlds, you know, a good thing for the community that's here and a good thing for those uh, folks that uh, we want to attract to Wheaton to come here to visit us.